Hey, welcome back to Toy Foolery, and today we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends Jack O' Lantern. Is this a cheap Green Goblin knockoff or something special? Stay tuned to find out. This is Jack O' Lantern, and I wasn't familiar with this character. I assumed that he was part of the Hobgoblin, Green Goblin, Demi Goblin, all those Goblin crew people. That was my assumption. He might not be, I don't care. He has a glider, he has punky bombs. I don't know, that sounds like a Goblin to me. So let's check out the box and see if it's better than your mom's. This box better than the box he was held in. Picture of Jack Lantern on the side. Picture, same picture in the back. And I'm going to say this is straight booty butt cheeks. I don't understand. I really, some of these figures in the boxes are great. I really did like Tombstone. I really did like the Ben O'Reilly. The design for the last stand was really good, but the articulation I wish was a little bit better. I'm hoping that this is the case here where they're like, eh, who cares about the box? You're gonna take it out and play with it. I'm hoping that's the case because I'm not impressed here. Anyway, let's see. Oh, what's in the box? And what we get in the box. We get his glider. I'm assuming this is a stand for his glider. I could be wrong. We get two alternate, we get uh, two fists and we have a pumpkin somewhere that rolled somewhere. Let's find it. Where did you go pumpkin? Pumpkin. And a pumpkin, a pumpkin bomb. Would Mills have shot you for this? No, because because this is what you expect from a action figure. You get alternate hands, you get a decent accessory with it, and you get an accessory you expect with it. Kudos to Hasbro. N nothing crazy. Um, it seems like outside of the Last Stand Spider-Man, all the other action figures in this wave actually either got a decent accessory or they gave you an alternate head or something that made the figure worthwhile. So kudos to them for this. Let's check out the design and see if this thing looks like it's supposed to. So I'm not familiar with the character Jack-O-Lantern. Obviously he's a big guy. He's a guy with a pumpkin head on him and he looks like he's wearing like a com this looks like a combination of Doctor Doom and um, Green Goblin armor. But what I really liked about this one, the flame effect on the back of the head, super cool. Uh, definitely can shine some light through it, get you some great shots. I really wish that translated back into the face because that would have been cool to have the light shine through and have the whole dang glow. That's fine. But the detail in the mask is phenomenal they have the way they painted the lines on the face gives it a lot of texture it makes it feel really 3d so that's really good design on their part uh outside of that is this a plain jane body nothing phenomenal um like i said it looks like a combination of a green goblin and a dr doom body and it's very plausible that it is but uh the the hood around his neck and the head makes it a, a knockout for me. I really do appreciate the detail that they spent on the head of the, and while I'm not a fan of the pumpkin bombs, I wish they were a little bit, they have a little bit more detail in them. Not a bad figure, not a bad figure at all. Anyway, let's see if this thing can do a squat. One and two and three and four and- He can get his arms up 90, no more than 90. He, can, he has swivel in his bicep. He has double jointed elbows. Double jointed elbows on both sides. Yep. He has a nice crunchy ab crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. So waist swivel below the belt. Um, thigh cut. Does he have a boot cut? He has a boot cut. Um, double jointed knees, not well hidden. You actually see the area is out, right? Just because of the way he's basically wearing skin tight pants. I understand. Swivel in the boot, rocker in the boot, back and forth. Oh, this one is nice and 
clean. Normally I have to fight with these things. Cool. And can he do a squat? Absolutely, because his body is built for it. Look at that. His body, he wants to, he wants to be like, hey, 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 I'm gonna show you how I do stuff. And he can get into a squat fairly easily. Uh, and no, he's not a superhero, but I wish he had, if he had total articulation, absolutely do a superhero landing, super easy, without a problem. Uh, well, kind of without a problem. He doesn't have the articulation in the bottom of his waist to get into the superhero landing. So he's gonna be slightly off and his hips aren't gonna work with me. His hips do lie. So we can get him to do that. Now my question is, how do I put together this glider thingy? What I see is that they gave you this so that if you were gonna have a stand where he's flying, you can have a bottom locked out. But what I'm assuming most people will do is you're gonna take off this and you're gonna balance it on the ground and just have it fly, which is smart. So you can have him stand on the stand and you can have him fly if you have a stand to keep him above uh, a flight stand. So that works. Let's get into price. The money. I'm spending more fail money than I'm getting tail money. So this thing is 25 bucks. Not the cheapest figure, but like every other figure in this wave, absolutely worth the money. You're getting a really good value for the amount of money you paid. You get his glider, you get an extra pump, you get two fists. And I really do love the head scope on this figure. So I can't, if you're not a fan of this villain, I can't recommend it. But if you're just looking for a random figure, like I do sometimes, sometimes I have like, like Man Cake is one of my favorite figures out there because of how silly it is. You might want to add this to that just because of how cool the head sculpt is. Other than that, that's it for me guys. Check out these cool shots and I'll catch you in the next bit.